dual port enables two data paths within a single host so that two controllers can access the same storage device for redundancy. In another usage, two host systems can concurrently access the same drive with dual port. If a system failure or power loss occurs where one data path is lost, the available data path continues operation as if no failure had occurred with minimal impact to quality of service. There is typically one server controller that utilizes a host bus adapter to connect to the SSDs via a PCIe switch. If this connection fails, access to the data will be lost. To support failover in this configuration, an extra HBA can be added to the server. Though failover is supported in this configuration, there is only one switch connecting to the drives, so if the switch fails, access to the data would still be lost. To avoid these single points of failure, utilizing dual port drives and two switches that connect to every drive will alleviate this problem. However, if the server is lost, access to the data will still be lost. Therefore, depending on the associated cost, the addition of a second server could achieve a fully redundant system where both servers could access all of the dual ported drives via two switches. In this configuration, the dual ports are active-active, enabling both controllers to access any drive port at any time, representing a fully redundant dual ported configuration. The Enterprise SSD Form Factor Working Group defined its latest SFF8639 connector or U.2 form factor and as part of its definition includes dual port enablement. The mechanism for enabling dual port operation is dual port EN or pin E25. The enablement is defined so that the Enterprise PCIe SSD can be configured as either a single by 4 controller or as dual by 2 controllers. It is typically pulled high internal to the Enterprise PCIe SSD, which means that if nothing is connected to the pin, pin E25, the state of the pin will be high and a dual port capability will not be enabled. If dual port EN, pin E25 is left open, the PCIe interface will be configured as a single by 4 port. If dual port EN is pulled low by the system, driven low or grounded by a backplane, the dual port capability will be enabled. This section describes use cases for integrating Z Drive 6000 series SSDs into an IT environment and ideal for OLTP and online analytical processing applications. As OLTP applications handle many short transactions in quick random bursts, the Z Drive 6000 series is well suited to accelerate the processing of these transactions for a variety of business needs that include analytics, content delivery, critical infrastructure applications, database query acceleration, financial and ledgers, gaming, video surveillance, real-time billing, real-time monitoring, and trading. As OLAP applications handle bigger chunks of data, the data must be retrieved from multiple sources and respond quickly to complex queries. OLAP applications can also be used for a similarly diverse set of business workloads that include business intelligence, batch processing, data warehousing and report generation, ERP systems, high transaction processing, massive data feeds and reporting. OZZ is a pioneer in this technology and was the first to showcase dual port functionality with the Z Drive 6000 series in an all NVMe members conference held in April 2015. OZZ's Z Drive with dual port functionality is already sampling and will go into production February of 2016.